we're going to do is today is we're going to boil some red cabbage to collect the juice to make our own litmus paper to check the pH levels of acids and bases. Now, I've gone to the store and bought just as an ordinary red cabbage. And I'm told you're supposed to cut both ends off. So I've done that. I've also been informed that this center, there's not much red in the center. So not to worry about that. Just to cut the side. So I'm going to just discard this bag real quick. Get that out of the way. And I'm just going to slice and slice. And I'm told it takes an awful lot to make a little bit of juice. So I've not done this before, so this will be an experience for all of us. So I'm going to set this off to the side for just a second. It looks like I just need to dice this up. I'm told to chop it up as finely as possible. chopping the ends of my fingers off. Now I read online that you have two ways you can do. You could boil this for about 30 minutes or you could cook it in the microwave, which is the way I intend to it. Because I'm kind of an impatient sort and I like to get this stuff done quickly. So, I think at this point, we're just going to add a little bit of water. Gonna put the lid on it. Try not to break anything while we're doing it. And, Mess. Now, while that's cooking, I'm going to cut this sheet of paper. Now, it recommends acid-free paper. I don't have any, so I'm just using regular paper. We'll see how well that works. They said it works, but probably not as good because, well, you are trying to test your pH levels and your litmus paper that we're making should be as close to a pH of 7 or neutral as you can possibly be and if you have acid paper well, obviously that will make a difference. So this is actually cooked in the microwave so far for 10 minutes and uh, Mashing it's pretty warm. I'm not seeing a lot of juice yet, but then I was told that it doesn't really yield an awful lot of juice. Okay, I ended up cooking this cabbage for about 20 minutes and adding about a cup of water. Um, as you can see, I've been I've got my new John Deere green strainer that I'm kind of mashing it through, and I am getting you can see this. Quite a bit of juice actually. More than I had anticipated. So this is where I've squeezed it out of. I'm gonna scoop out 
into a different bowl and it may just have strained cabbage for dinner. So we've netted this much juice. It's relatively cool so I'm going to pour it in my jar that I had set aside. Is that so? What I'm going to do is take these strips, soak it in this uh, solution, and make s myself some litmus paper. And then later on, we will test the acidity of our the, whether this works testing the acidity. Uh, I've got some lemon juice in the refrigerator. It's just aching to be tested for acidity. So we're going to gather these up. Put this here so it doesn't uh, and I'm going to soak these for about 30 minutes and then we'll take them out while this was steeping, I had a wonderful dinner of beef and cabbage. Imagine that. So, now that it's been steeping for at least a half hour, I'm going to take these out and let them spread them out on this paper towel and let them dry. And as soon as they are dry, we will try a little litmus test with that. So. Okay, so we've let these uh, litmus paper strips set overnight. They're dry. I've cut a little one. Um, they look about the right color. Now, if they work properly, when I dip it in this lemon juice, it should turn red. So I'll dip in there, and sure enough, you get a close up of that one. Now, the real test is if it'll work with, with bases as well. So I've got some milk of magnesia. And I'll dip a little bit on that one. And if it works properly, this should turn blue. I'll give that a second to work. And sure enough, 